Is this the legendary ball lightning? A video was recorded in Canada that's causing quite a stir on the internet. Because in the footage, you can see a glowing blue-white ball slowly floating over a field. Is this one of the rarest atmospheric phenomena of all a ball lightning? Or is there something completely different behind it? Let's take a closer look at it. Stick around. Welcome, everyone. Today we're talking about ball lightning, and no, I'm not referring to myself after the oleokinet buffet, but rather one of the greatest mysteries in meteorology. By the way, if you always want to be instantly informed about fascinating phenomena, spectacular weather events, and incredible scientific discoveries, then go ahead and subscribe now, because on this channel I keep you up to date on all these exciting topics. Subscribing doesn't cost anything, you'll never miss another video, and you help me out as well. And if you've already subscribed, you can support this video with a thumbs up. Maybe we'll hit 5,000 likes, then YouTube will show it to even more people. But now, let's get to this mysterious video from Canada. Ed and Melinda Party from Alberta were actually looking for funnel clouds after a severe thunderstorm had passed through their region. But what they captured with their camera was something completely different and far more spectacular. Behind their property, a glowing blue and white ball suddenly appeared, hovering about 7 meters above the ground. Ed describes the experience as follows. After the lightning disappeared, the ball of light grew larger and brighter, really very bright. I thought it would disappear right away, but it didn't. For about 20 seconds, this mysterious luminous phenomenon moved across the field before simply disappearing. And if we rule out the possibility that aliens got lost in Canada with their glowing UFO, that brings us to one of the most fascinating and at the same time most puzzling questions in meteorology. What are ball lightning? Feel free to write in the comments if you've ever seen anything similar, because many people say they've seen ball lightning, but the phenomenon is still relatively unexplored scientifically. Ball lightning is one of the most unexplored natural phenomena in existence. For centuries, reports of glowing balls appearing during thunderstorms were viewed with great skepticism by the scientific community. No wonder, since these phenomena are so rare and unpredictable that they can hardly be studied. As early as the 12th century, an abbot described how a kind of fiery globe plunged into the river. The next documented report then took almost 450 years to appear. This shows just how extremely rare these phenomena are. It is only in recent decades that science has begun to take ball lightning seriously. Professor Jill Jasper, who studies the history of ball lightning, says, for a long time, ball lightning was viewed with skepticism. Although it is now generally accepted as a real phenomenon with thousands of reported sightings, there is still no recognized scientific explanation for its origin. But in 2012, Chinese researchers achieved a real breakthrough. At Lanzhou University, scientists set up cameras and a spectrometer on the Qinghai Plateau, which is known for its frequent lightning strikes. And indeed, they caught a ball lightning. Analysis of the light spectrum revealed traces of silicon, iron and calcium, the main components of soil. This led the researchers to an exciting theory. It is well known that silicon, iron and calcium are the main components of soil. Consequently, there are reasons to believe that the ball lightning we observed was generated by lightning striking the ground. The team explained, the idea is that a normal lightning strike vaporizes the ground, releasing silicon. This then reacts with the oxygen in the air and produces the characteristic glow. But now comes the important question. Is the Canadian video really ball lightning? Nowadays, in the age of AI, you can hardly trust any video anymore. Everything you see on the internet is real, Mr. Astro Team. But the video from Canada hasn't been exposed as a fake. It seems to be genuine. The question is whether it really shows ball lightning. And this is where it gets tricky, because the object has some characteristics that don't quite match the typical descriptions of ball lightning. Mark Stenhoff, author of the book Ball Lightning, explains the brightness of ball lightning is typically described by witnesses as comparable to a 100-watt lamp. In daylight, it would be difficult to see it from a greater distance. The Canadian object is significantly larger and brighter than previous ball lightning reports, and its intense bluish color is also striking, and this is exactly where an alternative explanation comes into play, one that is less spectacular but much more likely. Astronomy YouTuber Anton Petrov made an interesting observation. This blue-white coloration is most likely the result of aluminum and lots of it. And where do we find aluminum? Very often in power lines. Aha, uh -huh. so it could be what's called an electric arc. These sometimes occur on power lines and can certainly look like moving balls of light. 
Storm chaser George Karunas explains, sometimes an arc can form that travels along these lines and flashes with orange and blue light. It typically ends up disappearing in a shower of sparks, which is exactly what we're seeing here. That would also explain the unusual size and brightness. However, Karunis honestly adds, I can't be completely sure without seeing it firsthand. If it is ball lightning, then this is one of the best ball lightning videos I've ever seen. And that brings us to a fundamental problem with ball lightning research. These phenomena are so unpredictable and rare that it is extremely difficult to study them scientifically. Most reports come from random eyewitnesses rather than scientists with the appropriate equipment, with the exception of a few research projects such as the one in China. What we know for sure about ball lightning is this. It typically occurs in connection with thunderstorms, usually has a diameter of a few centimeters to a few meters at most, and glows for seconds to minutes. And they glow for seconds to minutes. Some reports describe that they explode at the end and leave behind a sulfurous smell. Their color can vary from red to orange to blue. What makes this phenomenon so fascinating? Perhaps it is precisely this uncertainty. At a time when we understand so much about our universe, from black holes to quantum physics, there are still natural phenomena right on our doorstep that puzzle us. Whether the Canadian video shows real ball lightning or an electric arc, it is fascinating nonetheless. It shows us that nature is still full of surprises and that it is sometimes in everyday moments that we discover something extraordinary. Isn't that right, Professor Elephant? I hate nature. The whole world should be paved over like this. I'll keep you updated on the latest developments in Kugelbit's research. So go ahead and subscribe now, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And now, let's move on to another fascinating natural phenomenon, black holes. Physicists have discovered evidence that our universe is located in a black hole. No joke, this theory has been around for a while, but new data from the James Webb Telescope may now provide the evidence. You can find all of that and a proper cosmic identity crisis in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to click on it. And if you still haven't had enough of science in space, you'll find another exciting topic at the bottom right. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.